Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I am here to give you a first look at the uh, Stratomatic 2023 uh, baseball game. I was able to download it and um, look around a little bit. So we'll take a look around. Of course, you can see you've got all the teams right here. Um, and we'll look at some player cards, some interesting player cards, uh, some player cards on my team. Uh, first, I know you want everybody wants to see Judge. And so we will look at his card. And this is what Judge's card looks like. Hopefully you can see this. Um, but that is what his card looks like. Pretty impressive. You know, over here you've got one, two, two automatic home runs, and then a home run one to 12 fly ball, a home run one to 17 fly ball. This would be a ballpark homer right here. Um, and then over on the versus lefties, you got a home run, a home run, a home run one to 19, a home run one to 17. Of course, this is a ballpark homer too, but. And then you've got a, a ball, this would be a ballpark homer right here. So that is the Aaron Judge card. Um, let's see who else was on the Yankees that would be maybe of some interest. I'll put myself over here. Um, Josh Donaldson. Uh, he was probably bad. He it looks like he was hit uh, 222, 308 on base percentage, and then that's his card right there with 15 home runs. Um, let's see, Garrett Cole. We'll take a look at Garrett Cole. Now, none of these guys were on, are on my Stratomatic team in the Elmwood League. Um, but I'm just taking a look at them. They're, you know... Well, he had a 350 earned run average. But uh, 154 hits allowed in 201 innings, which is good. It's good. It's good. So, there's Garrett Cole. Um, let's see. Atlanta. We want to look at that Harris kid. I could draft him. He could be on my team if I draft him. Got a nice card. Looks like. Yeah, I could go in for that. I got it. Some pictures I have to, like here, it's just a batter because he's a new guy. So I'm going to have to update my photos. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's Michael Harris. Uh, Freed, Max Freed. Good pitcher for the Braves. 248 earned run average, 186 innings, 156 hits allowed. There's his card. Um, the new guy, Strider. Spencer Strider. I could have him on my team, too. He's got a really good card. Really good. Now, the question with Strider is... Like, he started last year in the in the Braves' bullpen. And then, like, maybe a little bit as a, like a, a go-back-and-forth guy. And then was finally put in the rotation. So my question is, can I plan on Strider being a starter for the Braves full-time going forward? It's a question. And also, he's... He's young and he's new, and so is he going to come up with arm trouble? That's why I hate drafting pitchers. Because they could, I, I can't tell you how many guys just fell off the face of the earth, got injured, were switched to the bullpen. I don't want that happening to me if I draft a dude and I'm thinking he's going to be a long-term starting pitcher solution. Um, Adam Duvall, that dude had some home runs. Yeah, he did. 36 homers. So, yeah, he's got some nice home runs there. All right. Uh, Baltimore. Baltimore, we're going to go look at Rushman. Uh, and here's Rushman. He's got the uh, catcher one, negative two arm rating. 
And, uh, yeah, not a bad card for a rookie catcher and for really for a catcher, period, let alone that he's a rookie. Uh, Keegan Aiken. Now, this is a guy my brother told me, get rid of the guy or don't, don't draft him. Last year he was in last year's draft, and I was thinking of drafting him. And my brother was like, no, don't draft that guy. Well, guess what? I should have drafted him. Had a 320 earned run average, but this card is really good. Well, all right, maybe not really, really good. Against lefties it is. It certainly is against lefties. Against righties, yeah, you know. So, uh, Austin Hayes, I used to have Austin Hayes, but I don't anymore. And he will be in the free agent pool. So there's what Austin Hayes looks like. Um, Boston... I don't know who was of note on Boston. I do have J.D. Martinez. He is on my team, and there's his card. Uh, not too bad, but, you know, he was pretty, his statistics were pretty vanilla, and really his card looks pretty vanilla. I don't, I don't know. Against righties, that looks pretty good against righties, at least for getting on base. Eh, you know. I do have him, though. Um Cutter Crawford. Who was that guy? Starter reliever, Cutter Crawford. New guy, I guess. I could draft him. All right, let's go down to... Well, now let's go down to the White Sox, because that's my team. That's my real-life team. Got Abreu, who will not be on the White Sox anymore. He's on Houston. There's his card. Uh, Tim Anderson, I had Tim Anderson, but I traded him, and I uh, really probably shouldn't have, because this is a great card. Huh, it's a great card. I shouldn't have traded him, but I did. Um, let's see. Who else of note here? Giolito. Let's go look at Giolito, because he had a bad year. So there is the bad Giolito with the 490 earned run average. Although they actually went easy on him, I think. This is not a bad card for what he did. Um, what did Joe Kelly do last year? He was horrible. My God. Joe Kelly. Look at all those on-base allowance, allowances. Lewis Robert. Let's take a look at Lewis Robert. He uh, batted 284 last year with 12 homers. Pretty vanilla stats. Card isn't bad. Yeah, so there's Lewis Robert. Um, let's go on to the Cubs. Let's see who's of note on the Cubs besides nobody. <laughs> um... Ian Happ. Ian Happ hit 271 with 17 homers. So there's his card. Um, Wade Miley. Was Wade Miley on the team? For 37 innings he was. And against lefties, that is a great card versus lefties. But he can only pitch 37 innings. So, And righties, he'll allow, allow some people on base. Frank Schwindel had a down year after that great rookie year that he had. He hit like 320 or something in his rookie year. Or, his la or last year. I don't know if it was technically his rookie year because he was on Kansas City prior. Um, but... This card <coughs> doesn't look especially good. I mean, yeah, this is not that great. So there's Schwindel. Rowan Wick, isn't he a new guy? One inning relief. 
422 earned run average. So there's him. Um, let's see. Cleveland, they had some guys, um, some new guys. First of all, let's look at, um, well, isn't Jimenez, isn't, he's a new guy, isn't he? I think he's a new guy. Andres Jimenez, second base one and a shortstop two. Nice. This guy might be someone I might have to keep my eye on in the draft. Um, so let's see. Emmanuel Clace. Yeah, another great year for Clace. Yeah, that's a, that's a shutdown card right there. But he was drafted last year in our league and not by me, so. Let's see who else. I know there were some other guys on here. Quan, yeah. Steven Quan is new. He he this this guy's available in our draft. Really good card. Love it. And he's a left field one with a negative one arm. Right field three, center field three. And um, I'm trying to think of the guy, their, their big star, and I can't think of his name. There he is, Jose Ramirez. So we'll look at Ramirez's card, and then we'll move on. 29 home runs, 44 doubles, and that's his card. And again, you know, if, if you want to look at anybody longer, you just stop the video and then look at the card. Um, let's see here. Colorado, I don't know. I don't know if there's anybody we really want to see, and we got to move along. How about Bryant? What's his name? Chris Bryant. Let's look at Chris Bryant. 306 batting average, 12 doubles, 5 home runs. Not good for being in Colorado. I got to tell you that. But there's his card. Uh, Houston. People want to see Houston. People want to see Houston. And El Tuve is on my team. So I do have El Tuve. Not a bad card either. Of course, you know, in our Elmwood League, he'll hit like 150. But, you know, that's a, that's a story for another time. But that's what's going to happen. But I do have him. Um, let's see here. What else have they got? Oh, they had Verlander. Verlander probably has the best pitching card in the set. And, uh, yeah. Single one to 12, triple one between four and 10. Because that's what I like to count, really, is between four and 10. And then over here, uh, double one to five or a single, home run one to six, fly ball, home run one to 17, or forget it. So, yeah, best pitching card in the uh, set, Justin Verlander. And he is available to be drafted. And I think I might just do that. Uh, Kansas City, you know what? I had Bubich. Bubich <laughs> had a terrible year. The guy just completely fell apart. I don't know what happened to this dude. But, yeah, that's a terrible card. Uh, but Grenke, I do have Grenke. Where is Grenke? There he is. I do have Grenke. I did trade for him. So, um, that's a, you know... Pretty wishy-washy card, but what do you want? Um, L.A. Angels, I do have Taylor Ward. Oh. And Taylor Ward's got a nice card. Yeah, real nice card there. Cool. 
and let's look at um, Mike what's his name I can't you know what the, I get I'm old and there it is Mike Trout I'm old and then my memory is just gone I mean I should Mike Trout should be it should not I should not have any trouble thinking about his name 283, uh, 369 on base percentage, but man, against lefties, he gets on just about everywhere. You got to roll the two column for him to get out. And the home runs aren't bad either. Of course, he had 40 home runs in 438 at bats, so wow. And we were talking about Judge? I mean, man. All right, you got the end now. You got the uh, now. I do have Tyler Anderson, and he has a very nice card. I am very thrilled that this dude will be on my Highland Hammers in the Elmwood League. Loving it. Um, let's look at Bellinger though. Bellinger, another bad year for the Bellinger man. 210 batting average, but 19 home runs and a center field one with a negative three arm. Great defensively, not much on the hitting department. Um, Miami, I don't know if we really want to look at anybody on Miami. We've got Milwaukee. Um, you've got, um, let's see, Burns, Corbin Burns. 294 earned run average, 202 innings pitched, 144 hits. And that's the kind of card that those stats are going to get you, Mr. Burns. And um, let's see. Rowdy Telez, he had a good year, didn't he? Yeah, he did. 35 jacks for Rowdy Telez. Who saw that coming? Certainly not Toronto. All right, you got Minnesota. I don't know about Minnesota. You got, uh, wait a minute, Arias. Arias had a good year, didn't he? I have him in one of my leagues, not in Elmwood, but I do have him in one of my leagues. And uh, yeah, not a bad card. And New York, we looked at. Um, I do have, now, did we look at Kiner Falefa? Because I do have Kiner Falefa, and that's who I got in the Anderson trade. I wanted to upgrade my defense. At the time, though, the ratings hadn't come out, and I was assuming he would be a shortstop one because he was last year. But instead, he's a 2E18. That's still good, but, you know, it's not worth the hitting hit that I took apparently uh, you got the Mets here and let's look at DeGrom always want to look at DeGrom that's a nice card 308 earned run average 64 innings 40 hits 102 strikeouts yeah that's a good card I don't have him but it's a good card Oakland, and we're not going to look at anybody on Oakland. So now we're here we are with Philadelphia, <clears throat> the magic Philadelphia team. Zach Wheeler, 153 innings, is that all he had? And a 282 earned run average. So there's Zach Wheeler's card. And um, Harper's card, let's look at the Bryce man, Bryce Harper. 286, 18 home runs, was relegated to DH duties later in the year because of injuries, and uh, he'll miss half of the year coming up. Um, Reese Hoskins, Reese Hoskins had a good year, right? 30 homers, he sure did. So there's Reese Hoskins' card. Now I have Bohm, but Bohm is really only good. He's only got a good card against lefties. Against righties, it's not so good. And uh, 
who was the other guy, that other dude that they got, and their other DH? Well, they had a lot of them. Schwarber, there he is. The Schwarb Master. There's his card. And he had 46 home runs. 46 home runs, man. Pittsburgh, we're not going to look at anybody. San Diego, uh, you've got um, Machado, we could look at. He is a third base one, as you might expect. Had 32 home runs. Man, you know what? 32 home runs are not what they... 30 home runs are not what they used to be. At least in the cards. Um, but I, I guess they account for some of that because the pitchers are giving up these home runs too. And pitchers will have a lot of home runs on their card. So uh, Austin Nola hit 240, or 251. Catcher for the team. Catcher 2 plus 1 arm. San Francisco. Now, in San Francisco, I have Longoria. That's the only reason we're looking at him is because I do have Longoria as well as Bohm. But both are really much better against left-handed pitching than they are against righties. Neither one is very good against righties. Um, let's see here. J.D. Davis. What did he do? Oh, he, he had a good year. 12 home runs. No, he didn't really. 12, 12 home runs, 248 batting average. Mm. Uh, Seattle. Now, Seattle had a few good guys. Hanniger. What did Hanniger do? Hanniger only hit 246. Wow. But we'll take a look at his. Quick look at his card. 11 home runs, 246 batting average. Um, Cal Raleigh, their catcher, only hit 211. Um, what did Ty France do? Ty France had 20 home runs, looks like. 20 home runs for Mr. Ty France and a first base 2E4, third base 4E23, second base 4E19. Um, Julio Rodriguez, that's their new guy, their new outfielder. Got a pretty good card. Hit 28 homers, 75 RBIs. Center field 2 with a negative 2 arm. What did Jesse Winker do? He uh, not he didn't hit very well. He only hit 219. 219 with 14 homers, though. Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis, you've got um, Goldschmidt. Let's take a look at Goldschmidt. The uh, card disappeared. First base, 1E1. That's about as good as it gets defensively, anywhere. Uh, 317 batting average and 35 home runs. Now, I do have uh, Molina. I traded to get Molina so that I could have a good defensive catcher, and I knew I would have. And he is. He's a catcher, too, with a negative three arm, uh, but he's not going to hit much. May not have to. I may have enough hitting and pitching that I can carry him, but... We'll have to see. Um, and then you've got... Uh, let's see how Jordan Montgomery did. Got Jordan Montgomery here. 348 earned run average. Got him from the Yankees. And... Uh, who's that other guy? Who's that other guy? Well, what did Wainwright? Wainwright had a good year, right? Well, 371 earned run average is good for somebody that's 60. 192 hits and 192 innings. That's not bad. It's 
pretty good card. Um, there it is. Arenado. Take a look at him. Third base, 1E15. And a good hitting guard. 30 jacks, 42 doubles, and a triple for good measure. Tampa Bay, I'm not looking at Tampa Bay. I hate Tampa Bay. Um, Dallas Keuchel, 920 earned run average. There's a draft pick for you. In 61 innings. Like, they let him go 61 innings with a 920 earned run average. I give up more than one run per inning. Let me pitch 61 innings. Um, Toronto, yeah, you know, they've got their young guys, right? Um, T. Oscar Hernandez had a good year. And they traded him. I think they traded him, yeah. And then... Uh, Vlad, Vladdy, you got Vladdy's card right here. And then, of course, let's see who else we got. Whit Merrifield, interesting one. Now, Whit Merrifield was a guy who uh, refused, when he was on Kansas City, he refused to go into Canada when they had road trips to play Toronto because he was not um, vaccinated against COVID. So I guess he became a believer when he was traded to the Toronto Blue Jays, right? And then um, George Springer. Take a look at George Springer. And on Washington, there's only one guy I want to look at, and that's Menendez, Mene Menendez, whatever, <laughs> Manessas, Joey Manessas. Um, he doesn't have enough at-bats to play um, an entire season in our Elmwood League, but, man, he has a good card. And my first baseman's Hosmer, who stinks. So I could really use Manessas. And, actually, let's go look at Hosmer while we're on the subject. Um yeah. Expected it to be a very vanilla card, and it is a very vanilla card. And let's go look at uh, Houston. There's a reliever, Presley. I've got Presley, and I wanted to see his card. 298 earned run average. That's a pretty good card. So, anyway, that's just a look around at some of the guys. Um... So I've, uh, you know, and now I'm just waiting for my cards to come. They'll come sometime next week. But uh, that otherwise, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.